In this tutorial you will learn how to create a video uh, in Unreal Engine with the sequencer. To begin with, click the cinematics and add level sequence. Just choose where to save it and choose a name. Save. Now you have your work area and you can see cinematics so first thing you need to add a camera so click the camera button and now you will be directly inside of the camera you can see this in the viewport and if you want you can also leave the camera and watch it from the outside but for now let's be inside it Okay, so now I'm just gonna click here and drag to uh, extend the video length. So we have something to work with. Okay, now I'm just gonna change the layout a bit so you can see this better. And the first thing we want to do is we want to save the camera location. This by clicking the plus button at the transform. This will save the location, rotation, and scale. You can see this as a red dot. Now just change the time and then you can move the camera to another position. And let's say you want to zoom in a bit and let's say this you're happy with. So now you just click this plus again and this is saved. So now you have the first movement in your cinematic video. And just by clicking space, you can preview it. So, there you have it, a bit fast. So, what you can do is just click the red button and move it. And now you can see it's a bit slower and much better. So, And now we're gonna uh, make the video a bit longer. So now what we have, we set this to a location in time, and you can either in the viewport change the location by camera. But you can also, if you click this transform arrow, you have the location and you can, by clicking and dragging this X, Y and Z position, you can be more accurate accurate uh, with uh, the position and also with the rotation, as you can see. You also have some uh, other options that you can try out by yourself. And so, when you're happy with the view, you can just uh, once again click the plus button. Uh, transform and it will save the location. Now you can just preview it and it looks pretty smooth I think. So let's say we want this person to move. This we can do by clicking the track and then actor to sequence and then choose the object. Or we can simply Select the object and do the same thing and it will appear on the top. Now you have some transform options and also an animation option. By clicking the plus you can add an animation to this sequence. And it will appear here and you can preview it in real time. So just move it till, you, till you're happy with it.
Okay, now we leave the camera and we will position us in a new view and create a new camera. So we can have multiple cameras in our cinematic video. So let's say this is quite good. Now go to the camera button and you are now inside the other camera, camera 2. So now click the plus and transform and you have the location saved. Now you want to add the second camera to the cinematic. So click on this camera cut and create a cut to the second camera. So now just change the time and the camera view and save the position. So now the last thing, you can loop this animation so it doesn't stop in the middle of the video. And that's pretty, pretty good. Just gonna make it a bit shorter and render movie. Here you can change a lot of settings and render the movie to create a video file. And this is a real-time engine, so it will just take a few minutes, then it's done. Now you just need to find the video file and enjoy. And that's all. Thank you for watching.